So, I have got a patient today and she is here for skin surgery for her total lesions. And what I thought would be really interesting to actually speak to our wonderful patient, who I'm not going to reveal her name because she's really famous. Right? I, don't want to, I don't want anybody to know who she is. Uh, but actually to find out about the impact of these lesions. Now, how long have you had them for? For some years now. Since you were in school? They've been there for quite a long time. For a long, long time. <laughs> yeah. um, so tell me, when you first taught there were corns, because I think that's what you first taught there yeah. were, what did you do? Um, I was by over-the-counter stuff, the corn treatment. Yeah, corn treatment pads. Yeah. So what happens is when you use the salicylic acid corn pads, they often make scars much, much worse, especially in certain individuals. Um, so we've tried some conservative measures. So today we're going to remove it, give you some sutures and it'll be gone forever. Yeah. What I um, want to ask you is, mm -hmm. having these lesions on your toes, what has it prevented you to, to doing? A lot of things. Tell me. I can't wear open toe shoes. Yeah. So if I go on holiday with my children, yeah. I can't take my feet off. Oh dear. Even in, mm. when we go to the beach, mm. I always have to wear some shoes that will cover everything. And my confidence level has just went. Down. It went, went really down. Yeah. So it's it's really interesting how scars on your toes can really affect your self-confidence yeah. i mean and you've been going to warm countries and not even showing your toes off no. so <laughs> that must be really uncomfortable for you i always have to keep them inside because i have this low self-confidence i'm people yeah. no self -confidence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah low self-esteem yeah low self-esteem yeah but I mean, we're going to sort that out for you today yeah. and um you we will slowly get your confidence back now as i said to you once we've removed them you're going to have some sutures so you'll have a scar from the actual operation that's going to fade yeah. and i'm going to give you uh, we've we've got a protocol that we've developed over the years mm -hmm. specifically for these lesions that make the scar reduce down to no more no more than just a line eventually okay. that process can be quick like a couple of months or it can take a bit more time but it will get there yeah. okay so let's get to your operation i'm excited i'm excited too <laughs>